So I'm Gary Stevens, I'm facility operations manager for CNW Services. Uh, companies will call us to come in and make a difference in their facility. We bring innovative solutions to change the facility in a, in a positive direction. I'm presently at a, a major pharmaceutical company in Greenville, North Carolina. They're a contract manufacturer of pharmaceuticals, ranging from liquid to oral solid dose, and we manage all their critical facilities. They really didn't have a whole lot of reliability in place. It was basically a run the fail type site. They did do some ultrasound on different types of equipment. They done a little bit of oil analysis, but the all analysis wasn't sent back to anybody to read and evaluate. Recently, we added vibration through Pedersen. It's been extremely beneficial. The simplicity made it a good choice for us, and they kind of monitor and drive us in a direction that's improving the site. I took a different approach. I didn't just do vibration on different floor block bearings and the motor, but also added in amp draw. And the reason I want to look at that is we only do UE once a year. And for me to, if I see an amp draw, put an amp draw on it, I can pick up problems prior to my infrared readings each year. We also do uh, measure differential pressure across filters. So it's basically one package. When we, when we put it on a unit, it covers the whole package. So with a pilot, we, we automatically picked up about three correctives immediately. One was alignment, the other one was a pressure. Some of the filters were really dirty. And then the amp draw, we picked up a lug on one of the contactors. It wasn't connected properly. The big one that we caught, one of the seam traps for a valve, or a condensate line was actually shut three quarters away. Within, within a couple hours, that was picked up. Generally, that would have took a whole lot longer. Basically, the process would have stopped before we actually picked it up, and the process never stopped. So that was a good catch. We can actually truly identify what we're saving. It was about 58,000. We can identify the proper working on the seam traps without without failure. Of course, one seam trap failure is not going to cause that big of an issue, but when you have a site as large as ours, 1.5 million square feet roughly, you know, if you have 10, 12, 14, 30 different seam traps failing, it causes a lot of problems with condensate, makeup water, and backing up production issues. Of course, amp draw, we can identify when the unit's coming up and down by hour, by minute. That was a big one. Look at expanding more units with our general setup we have now. That's about 30 more units. We have roughly 40 units, AC units, and then about 20 pumps online now with uh, Pedersen's. And we're looking at more critical stuff like chillers and boilers and kind of say pumps and VA tanks and that type of thing. So looking to expand in a lot of different directions. Not, and again, not just vibration.